Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft's new Windows Recall AI feature, that is a feature that's at this stage available for Copilot Plus PCs, which will roll out around about the end of July, July into August this year, is a feature that's causing a lot of debate, um, especially because it's going to remember everything you do on your PC and create a timeline of everything you do on your PC. So obviously this is raising a couple of privacy issues and it's also going to eat up a lot of your storage as I've been posting business. Those snapshots are going to use a good couple of gigabytes on your system. And I'll leave a video I posted on this in the end screen and once again if you'd like to play catch up and get some information. Now if you are concerned about the privacy side of things, just a quick video to kind of bring a little bit of a balance um, regarding privacy issues, for want of a better word. Um, I think the big one here is that the issue with the Windows Recall feature is that it's going to record pretty much everything on your PC. So it's going to rem remember everything you do if the feature is enabled. And once again, the Windows enthusiast Albacore, who actually um, showed us, as I've posted previously, that um, Windows Recall AI can be run on unsupported hardware. It doesn't actually have to be run only on a Copilot Plus PC. That video will be in the end screen because that's quite interesting. But Albacore has pointed out, um, and I'm quoting, and if we head over to a screenshot provided by Albacore over on X, um, Albacore has mentioned something interesting. And it's said, and I'm quoting, I've seen a few people concerned about Recall and whether all the processing is done locally. That is indeed the case. I'm able to save snapshots, OCR them, access the timeline, and perform text as well as visual searches across it. But the big one here is while all being offline. So basically, Windows Recall doesn't only work when you're online. That's where the privacy issues were the concern. You can also use this whole complete f feature when you're offline. So as mentioned by Albacore, if you create a snapshot that has data you'd rather keep private, there's a delete button right here in the main UI. So you'll be able to, to delete those snapshots as we can see. Maybe you're concerned about privacy for whatever reason. So regarding privacy, I think the big one here is the feature will be able to be used offline and you'll be able to delete some of those snapshots. And we did cover the delete um, in a previous video to some extent or the other, which basically means... Um, uh, Albacore was able to work on Recall AI while offline and the platform carried on displaying several options that can still be used while offline. So I think that may kind of um, balance out the privacy issue to some extent or the other. So if you are using the feature, you don't always have to be online. You can use it offline. So obviously to get access to that data, you'd have to, Microsoft would have to kind of use their telemetry when you are online. And as mentioned, Recall is a optional feature and it can be disabled so when the feature rolls out if you have a copilot plus pc as i've mentioned previously there is a big toggle in the settings regarding the feature that you'll be able to actually turn off and then obviously if you don't want to turn off the feature and you do want to use it but don't obviously want the privacy concern you are able to use the feature offline but obviously that comes with its own issues because obviously sometimes you may be wanting to be online for various tasks and functionality. But nonetheless, I just thought I'd post this because there's quite a lot of um, talk ar around this Windows recall. And obviously for folks, including myself, there are the privacy issues. So um, I thought this was interesting, this post by Albacore on X, because um, I think the fact that it can be able to be used offline uh, is a big one when it comes to the privacy. But nonetheless, um, just putting it out there because we like to keep you guys posted on the channel. So once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.